I'm Jordan Giorgio from Chat Sports, and it's time for Quick Hitters presented by Game Time, the number one mobile app for last minute sports and concert tickets at the best price in seconds. Go ahead and visit chatsports.com slash tickets to download. Let's get into all the latest news and rumors within the NFL. First up, it is looking like the New England Patriots and Rob Gronkowski are getting close to finalizing a new restructured contract per the Athletics' Jeff Howe. Although it is still up in the air whether Gronk will sign an extension or simply earn a raise, Gronkowski is signed through the 2019 season and scheduled to make $9 million this season and $10 million next season. But it seems like it's only a matter of time until we learn new information about a reworked deal. Next up, President Trump weighed in today following the new NFL policy and banning kneeling during the national anthem. Trump said, quote, I don't think people should be staying in the locker rooms, but still I think it's good. You have to stand proudly for the national anthem or you shouldn't be playing, you shouldn't be here. Maybe you shouldn't be in the country. Now with this new policy implemented for this season, I want to know how you feel about the new national anthem policy. Are you happy about it? Go ahead and throw out that heart or are you very angry about it? Go ahead and throw out that like or go ahead and send me a message on Instagram at Jordan Giorgio and let me know what you think. More anthem talk, Albert Breer of SI.com reported that it is clear at this week's NFL owners meeting that the reaction and taunting by Donald Trump at rallies and online played a factor in the league's decision to create this policy. Packers president Mark Murphy was asked if Trump came up in the discussion. After a quick laugh, he responded, oh yeah, it was more how Trump might react anticipating that. Also how the fans will react, how the media will react. That's what we tried to think through. No matter what we did, Trump would probably try to get involved one way or the other, either criticizing us or taking credit for the change. Next up, with 49ers Reuben Foster's domestic violence charges dismissed, he is set to return to the 49ers immediately. 49ers general manager John Lynch said in a statement yesterday he will have the opportunity to rejoin the team tomorrow. It has been made clear to Reuben that his place on this team is one that must continue to be earned. We will continue to monitor the remaining misdemeanor charge. The charge that he's referring to is allegations of possession of illegal weapons. A pretrial hearing is scheduled for that on June 6. Moving on, after signing a two-year contract to play for the Canadian Football League's Hamilton Tiger Cats, quarterback Johnny Manziel is expected to serve as a backup to starting quarterback Jeremiah Masoli for the entire 2018 season. Tiger Cats coach June Jones said after yesterday's training camp practice, I would say Jeremiah is doing very, very well. Until something creates for me to take him out of there, I would say he'll be our starter for the whole year, hopefully, and win the Grey Cup. Next up, it's been over a month since the Dallas Cowboys released wide receiver Des Bryant and his search for a new team continues. Now there have been rumors swirling around that the Green Bay Packers could be a destination for the star wideout and quarterback Aaron Rodgers seems sort of open to it. After OTAs on Tuesday, Rodgers said, quote, well, we like young receivers, so I'm assuming that's the way they're going to keep going. I don't know why you'd cut Jordy Nelson and bring in Dez, but he's a talented player. He's going to end up somewhere. If he ends up here, we'll obviously welcome him with open arms and get him up to speed as quick as possible. Lastly, after his outstanding Super Bowl performance, Eagles quarterback Nick Foles was immediately sought after per NFL Network's Mike Silver. The Cleveland Browns reportedly offered the Eagles the 35th overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, but the Eagles turned down the offer after discussing, discussing it with Foles, who wanted to remain in Philadelphia. The Browns then went on to acquire Tyrod Taylor from the Bills before they ended up drafting Baker Mayfield with the number one overall pick. I'm Jordan Giorgio. Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Jordan Giorgio. Until next time, I'll see ya.